things I've wanted to do since I got the uh, Nokia N900 is install Blender on it and get a simple little 3D cube or something going with some images on it. And uh, I have not yet uh, recompiled Blender for my phone, although there are videos out there people have done it. Blender does run on the phone. I don't know how well it runs, but I kind of uh, faked it here using, once again, Pygame, which I'm really getting used to and I'm really enjoying. Python is a great language and Pygame uh, was really confusing at first, but after a couple of days it just kind of clicked and I'm understanding things pretty good. So here are two programs, actually the same program but with different features, and basically it's a fake 3D cube. So you can see I got a 3D cube with images there and as I drag this way I rotate it that way and as I drag this way it rotates that way. Now as I said it's a fake 3D cube. I'm not really rotating a cube here. What I actually did was I rendered out uh, a 3D cube loop from Blender. So basically I just made a loop of the camera spinning around or the cube spinning around in Blender and I exported it in a hundred frame loop. And then I just wrote a script that takes my mouse position. Now the resolution of the Nokia N900 is 800 by 480, so I have a 100 frame loop. So over here I'm at zero. When I get all the way to the end of this screen, my X axis with the cursor is 800. So basically I just take whatever the X axis of my uh, cursor is, and I divide it by 8. So when I'm at 800, it's at 100, and basically just displays that frame. So I'm not really spinning a 3D cube. I'm actually just going through a series of images as I move the cursor across the screen. Hope that makes sense. Uh, you might be able to understand a little bit more if you look at the file, which is in the description. You can download this. Now, same thing, only using the accelerometer. So there's the cube. As I tilt this way, the cube turns that way. And if I tilt it this way, the cube spins back the other way. So, I kind of faked it, but I have the 3D cube I so eagerly wanted. One of these days I will uh, compile Blender on my phone just to see how well it runs, but uh, I'm really you know, trying to learn Pi game more and I think uh, things are coming along pretty good. So, uh, both these scripts are in the tar file along with the uh, hundred uh, sample frames there, but you can make your own loop with uh, any video editor or uh, or blender and uh, just export them and name them 0 through 99.jpg and put them in the folder and uh, you should be able to tell what to do if you just look at the tar file I supplied in the description. So, uh, thanks for watching filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.